Episode of working on it. Ooh! Kim Petrus in the house. Oh, I had a whole uh, intro. Oh, wait, oh, 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 sorry, sorry. Go, 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 go ahead, go ahead. I was like, we're so excited because I listened to your um, Parasite. Let's shut one. that door. Let's shut that door. Um, no, we have pop star, sensation, superstar, global star, Grammy nominee. Kim Petra. Nice, nice. You. you gotta say that forever, forever now. That's crazy. Grammy yeah. nominated. I know it's crazy. It means it means so much. <laughs> Hit me so much. It's like, I'd like to thank. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Grammy winner would be better. Right, right. But True. Like, I'll take Grammy nominee. You're going to win. Uh, thank you. I mean, I hope. You better write a speech because, listen, I didn't write a speech when I was nominated for Best New Artist. I don't yeah. know it. But it wasn't it the greatest speech of all time, though? Yeah. No, I just cried and I thanked no one that I should have thanked. Bro, it was the best speech of all time. I didn't even I was acknowledge having a panic the attack other people while you in were the category. Doing it, though. Acknowledge them. Okay. Because I regret every day not being like, I can't believe my name's next to your names. I, like, yeah. I just blacked them out. I didn't say anything. Yeah. I was crying and I saw, like, L.A. read through my tears. I was like, oh, yeah, you signed me. And thank you to my managers and then my parents, you know? Like, yeah. Uh, that's good. Write it uh, that's out. good. I mean, you thanked your parents. I didn't thank the, the academy. Maybe right, that's why right. I never went back for seven years. You know, no. like, just yeah. like. <laughs> well, I mean, the pressure's on. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be fine. Make it, good but since, since your pop star I transformation. I think that's the best way to do it. It yeah. is great. It is great. Like, just getting an honest I didn't reaction. Even like, is, cause I was so certain I wasn't going to get a Grammy. I wish I thought it through, like, but what if, you know? Yeah. Just but I'm saying, like, since your pop star transformation, there will only be certain moments where I'm like, there's my little sister in that environment. Like, at home, you're my little sister all the time. But on when you were uh, accepting that Grammy and you were giving that speech, it's like, oh, there's baby Megan. That's my baby sis. Aww. So <laughs> good. Kim Patras, I know nothing about you on purpose because Love I wanted it. to interview you here. Sick. Um, do you have siblings? I, I do. I have two older sisters, Anna oh. and Sina. They uh, are in Germany. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yes. You are from, from Germ Germany. Uh, yeah. What I'm part from, of Germany? Uh, Cologne. I'm, I'm two hours outside of Cologne. It's a tiny, like, it's like oh my cows, like farm grass. Nothing yeah. I had vibes. no idea. Yeah. So it's very like Sound of Music vibes, you know? Oh my wow. God. Which like, I, is, <laughs> it's, it's fun, but I was just so bored and I would and just And you be, got all the way over here. I, yeah. That's hard. <laughs> yeah, totally. I mean, I was. Uh, I mean, I started writing jingles, which I, I think you dabbled in too, right? Shut in up. The beginning. I yeah. was gonna do that only. I was like, oh, people making cash like this, I could do it. <laughs> yeah, a six-minute song, period, or no, a six-second song. Yeah, Easy. totally. Yeah, and I remember I got okay, so like. Okay, you started songwriter. Yes, I was like, I think at like 12, 13, I was like, no one's writing me any songs. Like, I'm like, no one like knows anything about me. Like, I need to learn how to write songs, so I just got. A MacBook Pro and yes. Garage Band, Garage and Band. <laughs> went off um, uh, wow. and really sucked in the beginning. But then, um, yeah, just started looking out for like everyone who's looking. And uh, then I got a laundry detergent commercial in Germany. Which Shut up! Huge for me. That's and, huge. <laughs> just from what you did on your Garage Band. Yeah. Bye. And, then, I mean, and then I got like a publishing like contract uh, in Germany as a songwriter or as, as a songwriter, yeah, pop star. You know, as a songwriter. I mean, you are me, and I am you. Dude, you guys uh, are very, very similar. Are we the same? <laughs> I know it's it's uh, <laughs> it is crazy. Wow. Yeah. Um. Uh, but yeah, I love songwriting. When so. was your publishing deal? Um. When was it? Yeah. How old were you? Uh, I was sixteen. Whoa. Girl, stop it. I was seventeen. Yeah. Hey! I was, older. I was in high hey, school. That's I amazing. left high school at lunchtime and went and signed my deal. And I was like, I'm rich. I've made it. And yeah. I was like, zero publishing, zero. Like, ah. <laughs> Isn't it like the best? But I was like, I'll take it. You know? Yeah, totally. I mean, and I tried to tell my friends, like, I'm working now. And they're like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm a working gal. Yeah. Well, look wow. at you now. Look at us now. Jokes on Both you, bitches. Bitch, I Say, here she is. 
<laughs> wow. Okay. So then you're like, I'm going to be a songwriter or were mm -hmm. you still like, I'm going to be a pop star. Just I'll give it time. Well, I wanted to be a pop star kind of always. Like yeah. I was always like, why is no one discovering me? I'm right, amazing. Right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, I was just like dancing around in my room and I didn't really have friends in school. And I was just like, I'm just going to be in my room and write work songs all day and work on my craft <laughs> yeah <laughs> um uh, yeah. so yeah that's that's wow. kind of what i did and uh i'm glad like my parents like let me do that you know just let me like spend time by myself be antisocial and a complete rec recluse were you homeschooled or did you have to go to school? no i did have to go to school Same. but it was really brutal like it was uh you know i uh, it was a kind of a different time for it, especially being trans you know yeah. and um uh, it was just like uh, i had like no friends you know so i was just definitely i would like, have been your friend i know we would have been pen pals but we were so far away so from each far. other <laughs> it couldn't Dang. have worked we were wow. so far away <laughs> um, pen pals for sure though pen pals. yeah no i would have loved that i always wish i had a pen pal like i know me too i never had one okay that was us let's just lie and say we did yeah we were pen, <laughs> we were pals, pen pals and now we were we've been besties for years years and um jokes on you if we're not knowing that yeah listeners oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Shit. okay um <laughs> amazing okay so then you were writing song because i was signed as a songwriter and i took that as oh you're not a pop star like i yeah. took that as my official stamp of like give up on all your like performing dreams like mm, yeah just be in the back and i was like okay i'll be the best songwriter there is yeah totally which like i i mean i think that's um such a good way into music because like you always have that and yeah. you don't you know it, it's I think it's hard when like a lot of people like come into the industry with like they like have a look and like a thing and like it's you know more about that than the music and I yeah. think you know even if everything like failed I could still be really happy just writing songs yeah, every yeah, single yeah. day like just if, if I can live off making music like I'm happy yeah. you know but I also love um, the performing aspect of it so much and especially like being uh, doing my own shows and being in front of my like, do you do you love going on tour I, I love it yeah okay, okay. see that's, that's where you guys are opposite that's you guys were, were almost okay. the exact same I'm until like that moment studio rat like want to mm -hmm. just live in there but be home by dinner time so I'm like <laughs> yeah. the Nashville way where you start at 10 a.m. and you're wrapped by 6 p.m. whoa um, I've never done that oh it's beautiful I'm like yeah they were like can she start at 4, 4 today and I was yeah. like no <laughs> <laughs> I was like no I cannot so you you're in early bedtime well especially with a baby now like bedtime we start winding down at 5 p.m. for him and then as soon as we pull him to bed at 7, 7.30, running to bed. Okay. Because we got to go up at 6 with him. You know what I mean? So yeah. we're sleepy. Damn. Yeah, I um, get it. And then sessions now. I'm like, I'll see you at 10 a.m. and I'll be done by 6 p.m. Wow. Like full song done. Like vo all vocals recorded. You'll love it. Um, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. <Word>. It's great. <laughs> I just like Efficiency. Can't, come on. Yeah. I just can't <laughs> like stay up till midnight anymore and then drive home. and then. Did you ever night. used to? Yeah, when I first came out here at like 18, 17, being a songwriter and writing in sketchy rooms. You saw me in those rooms where yeah. everyone would be like smoking pot and not working. And I'd be like, I got it. Don't worry. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, 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 totally. You know, those sessions where you're like, was this my rest yeah. of my life? Damn, um, I'm one of yeah. the people smoking pot, unfortunately. No, I, I would smoke the pot too, but like, you know, like how pr some producers will be like so high and so drunk out of it. And that they like, don't get anything done. They're like, here's your beat. You good? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'll see you in a couple hours with the whole song done. And like, <laughs> yeah, I know. I, alone. I, I, it's so frustrating when you have to like push someone yeah. to get something done. And yeah, that's a school project. Care. It's like a class project. And it's like, we're in this together. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I wrote bass at 19 while i was doing those spooky sessions and then a label Amazing. was like you got you whoever singing it just hire them and i was like oh, this is my moment but yeah. i was terrified i mean what a good pop song like what you're was your so good at pop oh writing goodness. no you really are like i feel mm -hmm. like you're um you you, you love pop i and love pop. i love, that I love mean, it's delicious i feel like that's my how favorite. we feel about you though like yeah. you are so you are like the definition no of pop when music. i heard Thanks, um i don't want it at all which is my husband's <laughs> number one song <laughs> yeah that's amazing his number Whoa. one song that's amazing i, love coconuts. I was like uh, coconuts. coconuts i love coconuts uh, we you. also <laughs> love slub pop when yeah. that came oh out God. and like <sighs> that whole ep we're fans we were like oh, oh thank shit. you thank you I, I would have never thought in the best way possible like, i that's know my amazing. bro i was like bro yeah. have you heard slub pop and he was like what's this and then we went through each song and he was like yeah Fuck, this um, is good. <laughs> well this kid in my twitch chat will who's also a fan of megan he was just like 
play this song by oh, Kim yeah. Petras. So I was like, what is this? A lot of my this? fans were like, Ryan, you should hear Kim Petras. <laughs> oh, it blew amazing. my fucking mind. I was like, yeah. what is going on here? And then... Yes. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Good old slap pop. <laughs> <laughs> slap pop. I, I love slap pop. I, I had so much fun making it and it was just like so... I love having a project where you can just fully like I'm gonna be the biggest slut on the planet on this and like nothing so stops sick. me because it just gives you like I, I can use so many different words that I wouldn't like have in my vocabulary, you know, like in um So is it kind of just like an extra alter ego of yours that yeah. you just get to really fully be like Yeah. Okay, fuck yeah. I love doing Throat that. Throat goat stuff. is amazing. Oh, Throat goat. Thank you. Throat goat. <laughs> Is such a <laughs> fucking crazy concept uh, of a you. song. <laughs> are your you. parents? Do they? Are they so stoked for you right now? Oh, they're so proud of me for dropping throat goat. Right, like yeah, they, see, they, I they, write, <laughs> I write some sex. It's a major songs, achievement. And... Some of my songs that are about sex or whatever, when I'm trying to be hot girl. Yeah, um, I'm like. So bland in the bedroom, like I starfish is what I call myself. I just Loves lay there it. and accept. But some <laughs> songs I'll write with my bro or with my family members. This is sounding weird as it's coming out. It's really not. We'll just we'll say stuff that like I hope her get sexy. No, yeah, he <laughs> helps me get sexy. <laughs> Where we trying to? Where we like the uh, on shook a song I put out that something like don't panic when your neighbors scream. Uh, you know. But I just opposite of that. But what? you, when you're talking about you're the throat goat, are you legit the throat goat? I mean, I would, I would hope so. Right. Um, oh, <laughs> oh, um, no, like it's actually, I'm a liar. It's actually like it's a little like I've been like single for a while and like dating after slept pop, and it's been like. You know, just I feel like the expectation is so high. Right? Like, That's what I'm saying. Like, I, it kind of made me like scared to like date again. So it's kind of changed. Brag, up, it's kind of changed up your dating <laughs> life though, because there yeah. there are high expectations. You're saying so. Yeah, I feel like just a, a lot of guys that I've been meeting just know that record, and it's just like immediately like. Uh, that's so terrible it's like <laughs> it's like my embarrassing like you know it's also just like so exaggerated like yeah, yeah. Right. um uh, i mean my neighbors can't hear me it, you know? <laughs> yeah. no one can hear me yeah for sure but like i i, I feel like i've no been like one. raised like and especially germany i i think uh y'all are hot over there just uh, thanks. Yeah. I, I just think like sexuality and sex is way more open it is. here than it is here, and it's like not so shamed. Yeah. I would say, and uh, I think I just kind of grew up around it. That and was my tough, parents man. Were, yeah, my parents were really like, sex is a great thing. Like, it's not <gasps> embarrassing. That's like, so great. Yeah. I, when I started writing like sexy things in my songs, like my parents were like, huh? But they never, we, they That's never. Awesome. I never got the sex talk. I wish I did. I blame them every day for that. <laughs> um, and I tell them like you should have sat me down and said here's what sex is and here's like when you should have sex yeah well I, I guess... was Mrs. Slut Pop when I was younger hell yeah you know yeah and now I'm an old lady in a marriage <laughs> you're, not... <laughs> you're but, yeah. a pop star I'm gonna make sure my kids though I'm gonna play Slut Pop at like six when they're six and let them know like That's the recommended this is what people, age <laughs> <laughs> this is what people do you know yeah I just love just, it it doubles as sex ed just, just yeah. play your kid this you don't have to yeah. talk to yeah there was so much shame growing up yeah totally but that sucks I, so yeah. I just like um yeah it, it was a fun thing and it's like fun that people love it still love that's awesome um did you have more questions on that or can I go to Paris Hilton Go to Paris Hilton. Okay. I love her. Uh, okay, so you worship her like I worship her. Yes. And you are officially sis. Uh, thank God. Thank yeah. God. I'm I mean, a sis. I thought she said, hey, sis. I'm like, am I your sister? Yeah. Because uh, I'll tell people that. I, I, I think that's the first time we met at Paris's wedding, right? Wedding. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And you slayed. She uh, asked me the you. night before to sing at the reception. And I was the like, night yeah. before. Yeah, or like the day oh before. God. And I was like, I worship you. I can't flip it around that fast, baby. Like, you yeah. didn't have to ask me the weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. When did she ask you? Um, she, uh, oof. When uh, she was dating him? I like, don't remember. Uh, it out. It, it, I think it was like at least a month before. Okay, so good. So that was, that was really helpful. Was <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I moved stuff around because I was supposed to be, I think, in like London or something. And I, 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 I like right after I flew out. 
and uh, like i left from the party to the airport no. was out which sucked because like i wanted to like hang with yeah. everyone and i got to say hi to you real quick and yeah. then i saw like emma roberts was there who like i love and like i just wanted oh, to hang was. out with so many people yeah. And, yeah i dipped right away yeah okay. i went to bed i was so sleepy yeah and then her team was texting me like paris wants to dance with you and i was like mm, i'm awful <laughs> so i'm gone i was like i'm home uh i yeah irish dipped like took my yeah. pictures of proof that i was there left you stay all night uh what did you stay all night no, no i, I, I had to the airport. Fly, are you listening like right oh, after the plane. Wait, my bad my bad no, my you're bad good. you're good <laughs> no it's like it's so confusing no i uh, yeah i left right after like from from the aisle damn to, to the i saw airport. you scaring out there i was like yeah oh, and i like to? i changed on on the car ride like, i hate when that happens when you damn. change in like a random car yeah, <laughs> yeah um yeah. But you killed it because also in front of you, not only was this like a very intense situation, like my heart was pounding for you and you sang so beautifully. Thank you. But Kim Kardashian yeah. was not a foot away from you, was just in front of you. And I was yeah, like, no, it was crazy. She was <laughs> voicing stars are blind. Like she Whoa. was like, yeah, just living her best life. <laughs> she like knew some of the lyrics like, and she would be like, yeah. I was like, girl, this is a lot um, of pressure right now, but you killed it. You didn't thank even look you. nervous. Well, I owe Paris so much because uh, in the very beginning, I don't want it at all. Um, uh, she agreed to be in the music video, even though I had no songs out and I, I, I was at like 8K followers on Instagram, something like that. I've just been like playing some wow. gay clubs and stuff, but she heard the song because a friend of mine, uh, Charlie Chop, she's an amazing photographer. Um, oh, yes. Uh, I heard this on the podcast. Yeah, and uh, she introduced, uh, like, played the song for Paris because she's one of Paris's favorite photographers. So um, Paris was like, yeah, I'll be in the music video. And it was like, and no the music budget. video, have you seen it? I don't know. Recently? I don't know if I've seen it. It's her with a shrine of Paris Hilton. Oh, a which shrine. Which is her true life. Like she's, yeah. And she was praying to it. Yeah. And then Paris Hilton comes out, you know, in the video. What? Yeah, yeah. She and, she just, and she hands me her credit card, and I go shopping. Yeah, that's period. the concept. Uh, it's insane. Which like, that was like my childhood dream, but that's like honestly like how I like felt about Paris Hilton. Like I remember being like so, not having friends and Britney and Paris just kind of like being like on my wall. Like Those in the future, I want to have friends like <laughs> you guys, you know. And I do now, and like it's it's a very sweet. Thing. and she just really is an inspiring person she's so yeah. nice and so, so nice so smart yeah so smart and so like just like savvy and busy all the time all the time and doing it like with ease like i, was I have like, no idea you, how she does it i was in her closet with her and i was like do you work 24 7 she was like yeah yeah I was like oh same i don't like yeah i'll never work as hard as her yeah i i That's need i need fail. more tips from her <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> uh, i've definitely gotten like she some... won't age too i know it's amazing i feel like you manifested like i feel like Everything. you have some of megan's powers where you guys just like manifested this life like how do you Witchy just because you just grow up and you're like i i want to be friends <laughs> with paris hilton boom you're friends with paris hilton. like that's kind of insane to me especially from a little town in germany and then I, I just don't really understand, but it's... Did you have a vision board? Um, uh, well, I have my wall of Paris Hilton wall? pictures. I, did, yeah. I didn't have okay. a vision That'll board. That'll work. Yeah, I feel like now, like, I have amazing people in my team who could help me, but I'm really, like, pretty, like... I'm pretty clumsy at making, like, physical things. I feel okay. like I just kind of, like... Arts and crafts. I'm very <laughs> messy. Yeah. And I'm a Virgo, and I shouldn't be. Like, everyone's like, you guys are, like, crazy yeah, about organizing even. stuff. Like, I, I'm we put in our disorganized, music. and I... Yeah. Wow. But you have superpowers. I mean, and I'll admit it right here. Right Megan here. Trainer. <laughs> Exclusive. <laughs> I'm a messy bitch. But I <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, like... Are you into manifestation at all, or you just kind of just go with the flow? Are you a just... witch? Yes, I'm a uh, witch too. I, I I can tell. I think I have superpowers. How are you a witch? I think you do. Um. Well, I think I've just kind of had a vision of uh, my life in the future that I just always did everything for that I just saw in my head, and it was like this very clear picture. Um, uh, and I was always just like how, you know, everything that I did started becoming about how do I get there? And, um, yeah, and it got me out of bed in the mornings, got me out of my depression. And I just kind of was like, okay, how do I become one of the, um, best songwriters I, I can possibly be? 
um, how do I work with the people I want to work with and how do I um, get on that stage that I see myself on since I was a kid and uh, yeah so maybe it's like a delusion of grandeur and I was just like I'm great and I like I'm gonna do anything for it you know um, but it worked so I'm grateful for that thank God yeah yeah, see, that's amazing to me because you said you you were like depressed, right? You couldn't get out of bed and you're just like, how do I f- do the opposite? How do I turn this around? Yeah. And I feel like a lot of people struggle with that. Like, what is their reason to get out of bed and to find it and work on that every single day? So it's just, it's hard work and determination. And yeah. I, it's impressive to me. Oh, thank you. Well, I think it's just like, it's, I feel so lucky to have something that I was just always chasing. Good at. Um, because like I know a lot of people who just don't know. What, I have no idea what, what the want. fuck I want to do. Who are, that's I mean that's, I'm 30 years old. No, and that's that, you're crushing. Everyone's bro. figuring it out. You're crushing it. You're <laughs> you're killing it. Thank um, you. No, but it's like um, I, I I just feel lucky. It's just such a cool thing to have to like no, at least know what what I wanted, you know? And yeah, a passion. Do you feel the same? Oh my god, yeah. Since same I was way. so young. Yeah. I was like, oh, I will do music. I just didn't know I could make money off it. I yeah. Like, oh, fantastic. Well, that's the hardest thing to happen to. Yeah. Like, it's so hard to just like, doesn't even need to be a lot. Like, just like pay your rent off yeah, of music. Rent. That's yeah, like yeah, the yeah. hardest thing. Like, it yeah. took me like five years or something, you know, like of actively like writing all the time. Yeah. So even get, like when bass came out, everyone's like, are you so rich? I was like, oh, I haven't made a dollar off that. Like, yeah. you know, it takes a year to Yeah, it get takes paid. so long, which so is crazy. No like, one like knows that. We were in like a tiny Park La Brea apartment going to the Grammys. Like, Aww. The, were you guys together the roommate. entire time? Yeah. Aww, that's so <laughs> sweet. Yeah, we lived together in Park La Brea. Oh my God, yeah. that's so amazing. Yeah. And everyone's like, oh, are you going to your mansion? I was like, no, we're going to our little apartment with and there was throw yeah. up in the elevator when i they didn't even let you in one time Damn you didn't it. have a key you're like i forgot in. my key i was at some after party i'm like my, fuck no, i gotta dude, it was my album release party oh that's I what it was charlie pooth because he was having too much social anxiety and yeah. i was like well let's just go chill at airbnb at the park la brea i'm gonna watch tv or something yeah and they wouldn't let us in i was so mortified i was like oh, i was just not my about grammy <laughs> <laughs> i paid rent <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, you actually pulled that card? I didn't say that, said, no, but I was like... I made a couple was, phone I calls this, and I, I was said, like, I do you understand here. who you are not letting they into their that. apartment? Like, I never pull that card, but... I pulled I, the, I pay money for this building. <laughs> Let me in. Like, yeah. screaming. Well, I feel like didn't one day, in. like, I, I want to pull that. Like, one day I just want to be insane and be like, I'm grabbing <laughs> <laughs> It's such a, like crazy thing you should never do never do but yeah. i want to do so badly so there's maybe i'll like, just do it to my friends there's some places that like no matter what level you're at you don't get any like cool celebrity cards oh yeah for example cheesecake factory they don't give a fuck who you are no but you got to make friends with the host if you are friends <laughs> one of yeah. my dancers one of my dancers in the early days she was a waitress there as well that was my that's only a good plug end. too you gotta uh, know somebody who works there. You love Cheesecake Factory. I love Cheesecake Factory. But, but they, they didn't give, give a, a fuck. fuck. I went fully glammed. I was like, they're like, <laughs> You're, here's your waiting thing. I was like, fuck. Damn it. They don't care. My dreams are crushed. I know. <laughs> Being Grammy nominated means nothing. It means nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> oh, I will say, like, in your brain, when you when you go like, oh, I'm Grammy non- nominated, do you get excited because you're like, now more doors will open and like more things can happen now? I get excited because I feel like uh, people see me now like I've seen myself for a long time. Period. Like, you know, it's just, it's kind of like, you know, it's just that, it's that immediate kind of like recognition of like people who don't necessarily know much about music will be like, but she's Grammy nominated, Grammy nominated, she must know something, oh. you know? And I feel like for so long it's been like, oh, I'm the uh, girl who does like bubblegum, bubblegum, bubblegum pop and like, yeah. you know, and just... I get put um, in that a lot too. Yeah, but like also like I am a writer and I, I write myself, you know, and so I feel like the Grammy is kind of like... I guess she does something. So people who just don't want to even give me anything will yeah. be like, but like maybe she's like all right. You I know? can feel your frustration because I relate to it. I know it. I still will get asked today like, whoa, so you like write some of this? I'm like, oh... 
I know that Aww, that's so I sad. Like all my vocals, like yeah, you're no clearly idea like it. someone who loves songwriting. Yeah, yeah. It's I'd hard. have to explain it all the it's time, hard. like going out. It's hard. They'd be like, "Whoa, that's your sister." <laughs> Whoa, she writes all. It that? is cool though in those moments when you're in a session with new writers and like you blow them away. You know, those moments are like they'll see me producing my vocals and like, "Oh, I guess we could take a break then." And I'm like, "Mm-hmm." Yeah, I got it. Because my yeah. dad was like, "Never fucking rely on anybody." Never yes. have to rely on anybody. No, and don't. that's been the best. That's incredible. Yeah, I mean, I I, I feel the same way. Like I can go into any room and write yeah. you a song. That's we're not scared, good. you and know. And like that's a superpower. It is. That is really like the superpower, and like why I why I'm addicted to making music. Like it's like it's such a amazing thing that you just never know what's gonna happen once you like step into a studio. Like All for other- for me, it's very like. Someone might play me a beat and like just something pops up and I like run in and track it. And it's the most magical feeling because you just like Sick. it came out of nowhere. And that's the, the best thing about the best. it. It's the best thing about <laughs> it all. I wrote like the chorus of Made You Look in the shower. Yes. I'd be like, what if I thought I was really, really hot? <laughs> <laughs> and then I. You should think that. We were like doing a workout and I was on the treadmill. I was like, bro, is this trash or is this really cool? And he was, he sang the Louis Vuitton back to me. I was like, it's fire. Yeah. yeah. Like, um, Easy win. Thank God. It's so, it's been stuck in my head for months. Yes. And it's been stuck in everyone's head for months. Like, let's be honest. And it's like, just, you did that. Today, I don't know when this is coming out. Yeah. But today. It's global top 10 billboard overall, whatever made you look. And I was like, what song made you look? Period. I haven't had that in years. So we back. We back. This is my comeback. Um, the comeback and, kit. <laughs> and like, um, I, we wanted to do a feature, but they gave me a list of names. And I was like, no, 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 no. And then I saw your name and I was like, mm-hmm. oh, thank you. I was like, good luck. She on top of the world. But ask. Oh my god! Thank no, yes. no. I, I mean, I've I've been a fan of yours for years, and like I've I remember watching your interviews for years, and you just being someone oh my god, who was don't just like interviews. clear. <laughs> no, because like all about that bass came out, and it was like I was like obsessed, like everyone was, and I was just like looking into stuff, and I was like, whoa, she's a writer. That's really cool, and I'm like. You know, I was in the same boat and I definitely like related to that. Like I was always like my way in is going to be to write for other people yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then maybe one day. Yes. And you did the same thing. And yeah. that, that was really inspiring. And I just feel like you showed that it's possible to a lot of the girls. Uh, anyways. <laughs> I, I wish I just no. knew you were earlier. <laughs> my man was like, oh my, <laughs> oh my gosh, I would have grabbed you if I knew you earlier. Because you moved here in 2014. Uh, yeah, it's 2014, 2013. I'm not sure. It's all a blur. Yeah, same. That's when um, Bass <laughs> came out, 2014. That's yeah. when we moved here as well, yeah. And Crazy. I was in my Park Library apartment, like, hope it works out. I just remember being like, all I want to do is tell people, like, somebody looked at me and thought, record deal. When was yeah. your first record deal? Oh, my first record deal was... <laughs> um, two years or ago or like how oh really uh, yeah, yeah i was like i was independent and i had my own label you were independent the whole time yeah i, I mean i was working uh with um uh, uh, what right, is it? No. uh cobalt um but i had my own label thing and i wow. just kept putting out songs and uh i don't want it at all it was one of those and i was just kind of like i'm gonna drop a song a month i'm gonna drop Sick. a song a week i'm gonna do all of that kind of stuff and I had so much fun doing it but it was very like um I, I think I had good guidance in the way that I was working with a lot of artists who I knew weren't gonna get to put out their favorite songs um I uh, had a bunch of sessions I wrote a bunch with uh, Jojo who was like one of my favorite artists ever and she played me a bunch of Doja songs. Cat uh Jojo oh I Sorry. thought you said Dojo oh, and I was uh, like Doja I, I, <laughs> Also, Dojo. Dojo. Was Jojo the singer? <laughs> Jojo and the cat. Uh, yeah, uh, Jojo the singer. I yeah. love Jojo. I know, me too. And I got to tell her that I like just adore her voice adore. and stuff. But she had so many songs that she loved that, that the label didn't, didn't want her to put out. Yeah, she was trapped. And, yeah, and I was kind of like, okay, so if I drop my first single with a label, it doesn't work. I'm just shelved and stuck. And It's scary. Yeah, it's scary. So I kind of went the route of playing every gay club there is in America. You're a genius. Thank you. But I, I feel, you know, because gay clubs love pop music yeah. more than any other place in the world. You know, just like there, there is this kind of 
um, gay club in every city in America yeah. that just loves pop. And so I was like, I need to go to all of those. And uh, wow. in the beginning, it was uh, really not many people. And then it, beca then it became a thing, you know. But I'm really like a um, Brooklyn, uh, <laughs> you know, I played a bunch in, in Brooklyn. That's kind of where my career started. And like wow. all, all the little bars, all the little clubs for, for years. So wow, that's you kinda, hustled. Mm-hmm. I could never. <laughs> well, for me, singing it's like, live, like my voice is, my little chords are just a widow. They can't handle all that. Of, just of over and over of, again. Of course you can. <laughs> you you, you I'm think so tired? <laughs> I'm tired. Well, I'm tired. Yeah, yeah, totally. Well, and like I don't want it at all. That's a high key. Uh, yeah. Oh my I god. I can't sing it. Uh, I can't sing along. I'm like hard to break. Nah, 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 nah. Hard to Five. break. Five sucks to say yeah live. no like, it's not I funny i always put it at the end of my set so because oh. if i do it anywhere first i'll blow up my voice yeah. there and, uh, and slap the mic <laughs> yeah <laughs> Dude, that's yeah. a lot of my songwriting i write for like a whitney voice and then mm -hmm. i had to go sing it and i'm like why did i do this and i'm like but it's the better melody i have to do it like and then I regret a lot of songs. Do you have songs like that where you're like, "Yeah, so good," but I fucking hate singing this live. Yeah, I mean, in the in the very beginning, I think I was just writing everything super high because yeah. I just constantly wanted to show everyone that I can sing. Have a range. Um, yeah, totally. Um, so I definitely wrote the first few songs like a couple Up in the sky. steps too high. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but then it was it was fun figuring out how can I place it differently so it doesn't like come Her, out of my yeah. throat and like I learned about like pl placing uh, my voice more in my face uh, rather than my throat and then I stopped blowing up my voice a little more and then I really just had to be like disciplined or I, I would just not have a voice all the time and I don't like like lowering the key like I I understand it but yeah. I don't like doing it I like know. I want to sing it as it's meant to be sung I know um uh, but but yeah I, I have regrets with with how high I used to write Same. songs for sure. You too? Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. there's this part that's like an ad lib that's like, no, no, why? Every love, time I'm no. like, I hate this moment. I here it comes, no. here it comes. Yeah, I'm no, just like, no. squeeze everything you have. And I, and I'm like, here it goes. It sounds great every time. It so sucks. you're doing something right. But yeah, it's like, oh, it's great. my voice isn't as strong as my writing. That's what it is. But one day. Lies. I'll figure this out. So... How was working with Sam Smith? Because that, I mean... Ah! Yeah, can you just... Ah! <laughs> Sorry. That's, Did they DM answer. you? <laughs> Were you besties before? Um, We have been talking for three, four years or something like that about making a song together. Uh, we've been sending songs back and forth. It was never the right song. Wow. And, um, but Sam was one of the first people to reach out and be like uh i'm a huge fan and uh, would love to collaborate and then i they love pop yeah totally yep and I've, I've just seen sam's show so much and i'm like okay banger okay banger okay banger okay like it never stops it never ends it's like crazy um but yeah when this song came about and they had written it in uh jamaica with a bunch of cool people and uh, like Ilya produced it and Circuit produced it and there's this guy Omar Fendi on it and uh, wow. yeah there's just all these cool people on it and they just Sam was like uh, jump on this and then kind of like a week later we were in the studio and I was just kind of freestyle my the little verse you, you freestyle you freestyled that verse <laughs> yeah 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 uh, daddy with the addy I know oh. it, it was very um it was like a room of like eight guys or something like that and it was very like Sam and me were just like drinking in the corner and like smoking and uh Sam was like I want you to go in and do your thing and you have to talk about shopping and like all the things that you want to talk about and <laughs> you have to talk about shopping <laughs> yeah well I, I went in did like a take and then they were like why don't we try to uh do the verse the same structure as Sam's first verse so it was a lucky lucky girl mm -hmm. na, na, da, 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 da. it's so hard to sing that uh, yeah Flip flops Totally. So I tried that and it just didn't feel right. And then we went back and Sam kind of told everyone she needs to do what she does. And yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Sam. And uh, I'm really grateful for that because it just made me feel like someone at my back, you know, yeah. and just fully just wanted me to be myself on the song. And um, it's it's a cool, it's a really crazy thing that happened. And for me, it's just been like a wild experience. And Sam's been so nice and helpful in helping me figure it out because it's just another level of that i've never experienced of just like people looking at you um so it's been great to have 
a friend in the music industry. The success of all <laughs> this has been great, right? Yeah, no, uh, it's yes. Or is it yes. scary sometimes? It's a little scary. I, I feel like a lot of people then kind of saw me who would have never been my fans. That's the number one thing. I've been like touring for so long and doing shows for my fans and dropping music that's especially for the people that I know like me. And now it's like a whole, you know, people that would have probably never gotten into my music are like looking at me and it's like, why is she, why does she look so weird? You know, or like, why? Oh, uh, are you getting some hate comments? Uh, well, it's- Cause that means you're successful. Thank you. Yeah, and I shouldn't, I shouldn't even be thinking about it. The love should cancel no, I it think all out. I'll and, see one negative of like, I did a yeah. made you look TikTok and one like man who has no followers that like <laughs> commented you're overdoing the song and i was like we're done we're done yeah, with the no. made you look song and my team's like relax and I'm yeah like, no it's you're right it, you're right you're right it's definitely <laughs> that stuff got to me and i think it yeah. was just kind of like a new level of that for me and uh i you know i talked to sam about it we are working on it but sometimes it just it just gets you you know it's a good thing you you have sam because i feel like yeah sam's been in the industry for so long and definitely has some um great advice for you but Mm -hmm. it 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 comes with the territory unfortunately i wish i just didn't but like i wasn't as famous when i wasn't popping on tiktok um and then uh tiktok shot off and me and chris Olsen are lovers on there and they love it and chris chris (sighs) In, in New York, I hate him. Um, it's in a dungeon in the basement. Literally, I locked, I locked him up. <laughs> the bottom He's layer. Here somewhere. The bottom <laughs> layer. I, love uh, that. I keep on my bottoms. Um, I, uh, but when I got more famous, then I started uh, like more famous on TikTok. Then yeah. I got more heat, and I was like, "It's because I'm winning. It's because I'm successful. It's because it's a good thing." Then I have to yeah. remind myself that. And Chris Olsen get got really famous really fast, and I'm walking him through like. Okay, when they come and they attack you, it means you're winning. And we go back with each other. But um, I think that pop stars should be besties. Me too. And I think we should all hold hands and have slumber parties and be like, <laughs> yeah. are you okay? Because I'm okay. Are you okay? You know? Yeah, totally. I mean, it's something we're like, not. Like, I, w- I would love to just hang out with you and talk about all of it. Every time because... I see another pop star, it's because we're at a Paris Hilton wedding or an award show. And then it's like, hi, I love you. Bye. Yeah. Never see you again. And I hate it. And my mom's like, we should run sleepovers. Yeah. We were just like, and mom's like, I'll bring Run snacks. it back. Run it back. She's Run like, we could over. do this. But there's also, there's so many categories that we do that nobody knows. Like, yeah. I'm sure you do all the artwork on your album and all the lighting on your show and all the crazy shit that I always make a joke to my team. Like, I just wanted to write songs. I don't want to do budgets, you know? Like, I don't yeah. know that shit. And it's a lot. And I think we should get together and just chat. And for like, sure. Are you okay? How do you pay for this? What's going on? <laughs> like, this yeah, is fucked. totally. Uh, it's it's a lot more stuff that, you know, that is people don't out, see. Totally, that people don't see. And uh, of course, like, I feel like you and me are kind of the same that we kind of wish we could be in the studio all day. All day. Because, uh, like, I'm, I'm the same way, but then I care about how things I also look wish, in the stage. And don't you wish too. there was, like, multiple of you? Yes. I wish I was cloned. I know, me so too. I'd be like, bitch, you take tour, I'll stay home. You uh, know? Mm. <laughs> you handle that, <laughs> I'll stay here. I feel like it could be possible. Didn't Barbara Streisand clone her dogs? Like, you can do this. We could do this. You could, we, we could, we could like, do this. We, I mean, right? a lot of people <laughs> already believe Don't let me do it alone. M- yeah. A bunch of clones out there. It's a whole thing. Yeah, Avril Lavigne's a clone, right? That's not Avril Lavigne. It's absurd. It is um, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm very excited for okay. you to be uh, featured on Made You Look. It's going to be fucking dope. Hopefully it comes dope. out soon. I'm very excited. Or it's out. I mean, the song's just so good. Like, it Thank really you. is just so good. It's about to be you need even to better. Yeah, that now is- it's better. So check it out. Go <laughs> look. Go find it now. If you're watching this, mm, go get it. Go get it. Period. I, is it going to be out by the time this is I, I don't. Who cares? I, I don't it's, think it's so. It's either coming or it's already out. <laughs> yeah, we might whatever. also like fail in the studio and no, you know, just <laughs> I, no worse oh, comes. <laughs> yeah. <it's just> like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it shit. didn't happen. <laughs> we talked about okay, it okay. and had a great time. <laughs> yeah, so if for that, if you don't know what we're talking about, we're writing it literally today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like right after, after this, this, we're writing it, so... Wow, how fun and exciting. I know, it's pretty crazy. Okay, Ryan um, had a bunch of fans call yeah, in. Yeah, so we have a working on a hotline. People call in and we gave them a heads What's up. What's it called? What's the hotline called? Know. The like hot, six, Just working on a hotline. Two, there's, a, there's a phone number here. What's the number? 
is the Working on a Hotline. So these are voicemails? Yes, these and they're great. So we have one, two, three, four. A lot of your fans called in because yesterday I did like the shortest. I was like, she coming on the show, call in. (laughs) Thank you. Like, I wish I could play all of them, but we can't. There's not enough time. I love all of your fans that called in. They're amazing. Um, Okay, so let's just start with uh, Steve. This guy left... Uh, three, Multiple? but he just kept fucking up, and it's the best thing oh, of all time. So but cute. we're gonna play the oh, good one here. Steve. Shout out, Steve. Hey, Kim. My name is Steve, and I'm a huge fan of yours. And I wanted to ask you a question. And my question is, what inspires you the most? Whether it's in your music, through your craft, creativity, or just in your life, is there something that really excites you and motivates you to create music? Um, I love you so much. Take care. Aww, oh, Steve. I love you. Too. Great job, Steve. <laughs> I love you too. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, my friends. I think above all, my my friends and uh, connections in life that I like that feel like family to me. Because I'm very chosen family vibes. Um, love that. And um, it just inspires me when we have real moments and talk about real things. Um, also movies uh, i'm a huge movie fan I, I you can usually catch me watching all kinds of slasher movies at home because i love like horror i love horror movies stop i love them Kid pictures. I love them. you guys are the same that's my number one favorite thing in the whole wide world uh, i love a rush oh my god i watch too. horror movies i love them everyone like sacrifices and lets me watch it some are shit some are good of course and yeah. then i fall asleep to dateline murder loves it Yes, bitch. Your whole team. <laughs> Fuck you. Um, uh, <laughs> shit. Yeah. What is wrong with you? <laughs> What's, who heard us? Wow. Oh my god, I love you even more. Uh, yeah. Um. Uh, so so that. Um. And uh, yeah. But honestly, mostly just real conversations. Love it. Yeah. Cool. Did you watch Smile? I did watch Smile. Wasn't it so Smile good? I know. I love. Did you watch? So did you watch good. Megan? Your, no, not yet. I can't what? find it. Is it in theaters right it's now? In theaters. It's in theaters. That's why I gotta fucking go. Yeah, we saw it on I'm Sunday. Of movie theaters. And Tyler the Creator was in the same theater. Shut what? up. Which theater was that? Uh, <laughs> oh my god, do I go to? Tell me later. Tell you after the show. Yeah. yeah. Wow, <laughs> that was cool. Same. But but yeah, Megan is like. I heard she's really good. She's slay. Like surprisingly good. Cause like, yeah. what can you do with a doll? But dolls are fucking. The scary. promo has yeah. been insane. Insane. They went to the Today Show. They were like yeah, standing there. Fallon. Smart. They're just in the crowd. It's creepy. Why is it my name? Okay. <laughs> it's, <laughs> without the, it's without the H. Megan is a scary <laughs> ass name. It's Megan no H. That's why it's scary. Whatever. Right. Sounds Get same. Megan on the feature too. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> she sings in the, in the thing. Oh shit. Mm. Get ready. Okay, <laughs> who's, who's this? Um, There's no name. I know. Sometimes they don't leave a name. Ugh. Okay, well, first I just wanted to say, hi, Kim. I love you so much. Also, it's you, Steve. Megan. Love you guys. You guys are both incredible. <laughs> but my question for you, Kim, is what is one thing that you are looking forward to, looking forward to for us to see on this upcoming project of yours? Or what's, if you can say, what's one song that you're excited for us to hear? Because I'm excited for all of them. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, th- these are so cute. Um, I know, right? I love them. I know, me too. Um, well, there's a song called Burr, uh, which I don't know if it's going to be out by the time this is out, but it's it's very uh, exciting. Is that a single coming out? Yeah, the single Burr. coming out. It's called Burr. Uh, <laughs> Burr. Uh, and it's uh, pretty good. I really like it. Um, but, I mean, I am... I'm stoked about all of the album. There's so many songs that I just haven't been able to share. It's been like three years since I put out like a full, uh, uh, other than slap pop. Have which... you been writing this one for three years? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <sighs> so it's like there's some from a scrapped album on it. There's some from uh, literally like two weeks ago that I, yes. you know. Just... I love those. Yeah. And it really kind of goes through um, uh, the, the theme, the, the whole kind of beast thing uh, is, is so is lot. it like slut poppy vibes or is there more singy uh, songy like pop pop or is it both there's honestly i i would like to think that every song is its own chapter and is completely different from Whoa. each other but they all kind of have like the same kind of uh theme but 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 i'm also really excited to, because he said see not here you said what I'm, am i excited yes 
for you to see. Uh, I have a performance coming up, which I'm really excited about. Uh, like a music video or a a live? performance on like TikTok I, the, the, the t on like TikTok live yeah! in my bedroom, and it's gonna be really good. And I can't wait for you to see it. Manager, don't panic. <laughs> we can edit anything you don't want in there. <laughs> She's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Um, Amazing. Is there any other ones that are like Adorzies with a name? Come on, y'all. Say your name so we can love you. Oh, this there's a does. name. Sorry. Yeah. Hey, I heard Kim was going to be on an episode, and I just wanted to ask her a question. Um, what's your favorite part about making an album? Is it like picking cover art? Is it writing? What is it? Thanks, Kim. Also, I love you. See you soon. Alessandra. Oh. I love you, too. <laughs> Okay, favorite part of making an album is uh, the, the creation process, for sure, even though that's sometimes also the like most headachey part mm. of making an album. But um, yeah, I just kind of love when a concept and a common thread in the song starts to form, you know? And it's mm. like, oh, these are like sisters and like these are like cousins. <laughs> you know, you Sick. kind of like, I've, I, that's how I feel about songs. Like yeah. they're just like, once you put them together, they, they create the narrative of, of, of the album. And it's just cool when like some words kind of repeat in all of your yeah, life. And it's all a of, wink. Yeah, it's, in a, it's like building little, a, a little world, world and a little voc vocabulary and like the, the sounds and uh, that you're using. And I'm just always, I, I always want the next thing that I do to be more cohesive and more of an experience than the last thing that I do. Sick. Um, cause I've done like, I've done stuff where it all bleeds into each other and it never stops. And I, I've done like scary, I, I have this Halloween album called Turn Up the Light, which is all me just singing about being a killer, uh, which is something I've always wanted to do. And Kill people. <laughs> Sing about killing go, people. Go, 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 go. <laughs> yeah, so that's sick. It. Love it. <laughs> it's it's great. You can like do whatever in music because it's like that's so yeah. crazy that you said yeah you said the sisters and because I don't think people know that we do that like with mm -hmm. um a song I have done I make it look easy on this album I played it for every session moving forward and I said I need her sister. And that oh, was that's that was awesome. made you look, but she was the coolest sister, you know. She was a single <laughs> sister. Yeah, <laughs> she's a cool, hot single sister. <laughs> totally. Yeah. No, yeah. I, I I do the same thing now. Uh, like especially in the last few sessions, I just played my one favorite song, and I'm like, this yeah. is my favorite song that I listen to every day off of this. Um, just so you know, obviously don't want to just like make the same thing, but I right. I want to make something else that makes it's me to feel inspire similar. the writers. Yeah, for sure. They're like here's what's best. Let's beat it. Yeah. And then they freak out and they go, oh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> As they should. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. Amazing. Anybody else? One last one. This is kind of just for fun here. Um, we love a fun one. We can get in a little debate with this one. Let's do it. Hey, Kim Petras. This is Peter Cohen from Massachusetts. Um, I want to know, what is your favorite Britney Spears song? Um, I know you've mentioned her as being an inspiration to your music and your craft a couple times. You've mentioned Blackout being an inspiration specifically. Loved your VMAs look, um, mm. calling back to her denim dress moment. So, yeah, what's your favorite Britney song? And don't give me a single. Give me, like, a deep cut. Love you. Spicy, <laughs> Peter Collins. Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, so a and deep cut a Britney single. Spears song. Favorite Britney Spears song? Mm, uh, that's an easy one for me. I love Unusual You. Wow. Have you guys heard that one? It's That's so, a deep cut. That's a deep, I don't know deep. this one. It's like really beautiful. It's like her just doing like, it's just like a really flowy, like loose song that's just really feels not overproduced and i just feel like her essence is really in it so check out unusual she you. wrote a lot unusual of those songs. You. I bet she wrote it let's we got it that's amazing out. but all of black what what's your favorite yeah, what's yours song? megan i mean mine mine's a single but it's lucky lucky because Aww. on my tough days like in this job on my tough days when we cry together yeah. Like, he's so lucky you know that's my song so, i'm like i get it now yeah totally you, you sang it for younger, karaoke like, she's a star but you yeah. know like totally. i was like what a fun pop song and now i'm like oh I know didn't I you was... and chloe Moretz sing it at karaoke that one night or did you just sing it uh, <laughs> on my first date with my hubby Peter no no, no, no. no 
on another karaoke drunk night with Chloe Grace Moretz. Yeah, it was just <laughs> yeah, like. Yeah, of course. We sing Britney. Chloe can sing. Hey. Yeah. You would love her. Sick. That's yeah. amazing. I yeah. think mine's toxic. Thanks for asking. Yeah, of okay. course. <laughs> toxic. Can who, only who, heard singles. I think Toxic was first intended for Kylie Minogue, which is crazy. I believe it. Um, uh, <laughs> I think I heard like an interview with the writers about that, which is Sick. crazy. Like, and Kylie was like, yeah, I messed up, <laughs> which is so cool. Kylie's such a queen to me. Have you said no to a big song? Cause, and then no. been like, fuck. A knock on wood. I have not. I said no to... Um, why don't you just meet me in the middle? I know, Dude, I was I so. She, okay. she didn't show because it to me. She Maren didn't show Morris, me the song. Maren Morris is a better singer, and she That's deserved true. that. That is relax. It made more sense. But relax, I. But after that moment, I go. You show me every single. So song now before. I have to show him every song because well, he's like, "What the fuck have you done?" I, was like, <laughs> I honestly, I heard her voice on it, like I or the demo. Yeah, singer. it makes more sense like, at the I end of the day. I can't fucking sing that. It's fine. Like, it's fine. I feel uh, it's definitely like it's it's also just such a you have to feel it like that's the thing like i i, I sometimes catch myself like but, but what if it's a head like what if it's a thing but like if i wasn't feeling it and you know and i don't want to listen to it and put it on there's like for me yeah. that's that's like my measure for that like if i don't want to listen to it i won't do it you know so that's kind of yeah what yeah i know it has to be undeniable mm-hmm. but but there's songs that i that i definitely didn't get that i wanted really bad you know really um, yeah for sure which one <sighs> i can't tell you can't yeah. say yeah. Yeah. I can't god say. damn <laughs> i remember like um a few songs that i took because as a songwriter it's hard to be like yeah i'll sing your stuff and not put my yeah. shit on it it's hard, but I like Marvin Gaye with Charlie Puth. Mm -hmm. He played me that, and I was like, I beg of you to let me sing on this song. Like, it is just so good, and maybe my little tiny bit of fame will help it. And yeah. so that was me begging. And then Me Too, it was Jason Derulo's song. Oh, wow. And I was working with Ricky Reed, and Ricky's like, there's this one amazing song. I know you don't cut outside songs because we write all our shit but can I just play it for you? Yeah. And I was like, oh, it's a fucking crazy song. I was like, I'm down. And I just changed a few melodies, but. Amazing. That was like the other one that I was like, I need it. But yeah, is it is it your, do you do you like cutting songs that you didn't write? No. When my team sends yeah. me something, because they're usually shit. Yeah. Like once uh. in a while. <laughs> well, they're usually shit. And I'm like, why would you send Pepe, me this? Pepe, you got a little eyebrow <laughs> raise for Pepe over there. Pepe oh, really? is like, Pepe. Yeah. And those, were like the producer that I was working with showed me you know like yeah or I was friends with Charlie so like, he was like check right. out this song I have I'm like please but, <laughs> yeah I don't I don't love when they send me something especially my label and I'm like you know I'm writing really hard I'm, I'm taking months to, to write this why are you sending me some DJ pop song right now you know yeah I'm like I'm on a whole fucking wave right now yeah so that's I, tough. I get that one random thing that I wanted to talk to you about on the podcast is like Please, yeah. the most random way you've come up in a conversation was like with Eli Roth. You you know Eli you Roth. You know Eli Roth? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You guys are like friends, right? Or yeah, my yeah. husband yeah. used to like well. live on his couch. Yeah, when that's he what was amazing. Great friends. Right. Yeah. Um uh, I I'm like a huge fan of Eli Roth and we like had a, a couple of con Yeah, totally. And I just like got to talk to him about like a bunch of uh horror stuff and like he's just like he made me like a list of like movies to watch and all of that and then can i have like, that list i know yeah I, I'm, I gotta send it over to you there's this one which is called sleepaway camp which is insane and it's like a deep cut and then i wa we watched did it did you recently. watch his green inverno yeah my husband's penis <laughs> yeah 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 you saw my I'm sorry. I'm sorry i'm sorry i'm <laughs> sorry i saw it I'm yeah sorry. my mother saw it and was like no warning huh I was like oh <laughs> sorry you're not supposed to watch this <laughs> see that shit i don't love love like just raw god you know mm -hmm. I yeah. like the spooky ghost or like she loves the, paranormal, um, paranormal demons like that I love kind of those stuff. movies i love speed in like horror movies i love when just like something like just like feels the like jump adrenaline. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Where my definitely. heart's pounding the whole time. We're gonna watch this we movie. We gotta take you ghost hunting. Oh, we have you ever do. been ghost hunting? Do you believe no. in ghosts? I do believe in ghosts, but they never show up for me. I've never this, seen an alien. I've never seen anything. So I've never seen anything. I went to a haunted mansion and I saw nothing. And I, was I got pissed. some action. I got I was some action. Fucking pissed. Everyone got action. This motherfucker's he's more susceptible. <laughs> I don't. There was like a ghost flirting with him. I like didn't. Well, I, I just didn't Sick. believe. I just didn't I got, believe. They, the ghosts know. I got one like little recorder thing that was like, "You're gonna die," and I was like, "Am I?" 
time. Like I was like, I challenge you, demon. Like I was in it. <laughs> I was committed. I got nothing. So like we should find the ghost. Thing where she's like, what are you waiting for? Literally, I was like, how about? They were like, well, this is the scariest thing to do. I was like, I'll do it. It's 3 a.m. I've seen nothing. I yeah. came all this way. I want to see a figure. Well, maybe we should like link up and like just Have go to the scariest places and I'm be down. like, come at me. Yes. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Uh, Just tickle no, me. It's, scratch it's like, me. It's my dream to see anything supernatural. Same. And I'm really jealous whenever someone has seen yeah. something supernatural. And I'm like, how am I not open? I'm so open. Anyways. And okay, we love you. Don't challenge me. I love for, you. Thank you for having me. This was so fun. So I know Patches, this is a lot the of time. Best. And thank you for coming early and doing this before Hell our session. Yeah. I've worked with you. I've been a fan for so long. And Back um, at you. This is Slap Pop. So whip your dicks out. Okay. Do Whip it your right dicks now. out. This is your moment to She's promote. A oh yeah, this is your time Anything. chance to um, chat about it. I guess, but be careful. Oh. You can't say too much. Maybe. Uh, right, manager. Oh, what she allowed to say? <laughs> Honestly, just like sometimes I make music. You might like it or not, and I'm You're friends with hard. cool people. <laughs> Period. Like Megan, so that probably means you should listen to my music because. It's I'm friends good. with pretty cool people, you know. Mm -hmm. And Sam Smith likes me, you know. Yeah. So maybe you could like me too. But if not, <laughs> yes. Kim Petras on all socials. <laughs> yeah. What's, yeah. Thank you, managers. If not, that's on you, bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nothing. You do. You're missing out. That was so good. <laughs> Love okay, that. Right. Um. Yeah. Thanks, sir. You know where we're at. Working on it. All socials. Um. Yeah. Uh, what terrible uh, intros and outros. <laughs> okay, we love you. Thanks that for listening. Thanks for watching. Love you. Thank you for listening, watching. Bye bye. <laughs>